my biggest nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Winning all that time just at the most pivotal moment. Uh. For the Luma rank points. For the Luma rank points. No. Luma rank, please. Give us a 10 times multiplier. <laughs> we need it. 25 times. Imagine premiums at every local. Let's go, dude. All right, we're launching into game one here on PS2. You know, the PS2 crowd, very happy about that. We're getting some jabs here to start it off on uh, behalf of Fudinji. And, you know, I'm so used to, you know, other banjos kind of just using the default alt that seeing any color variation of banjo and kazooie seems weird to me. Oh my, oh wow, the drag down, okay. Yeah. See, I'm telling you, he has those egg, he has like the egg, I believe it's the beagle blaster. Yeah. Uh, he has the beagle blaster combos. Unlock. Down unlock. Yeah. Okay, even percentages, tries to pull some more eggs and grenades. Not going to quite get him. <laughs> yeah, both these characters, very multifaceted. They both have a great, uh, great, like, up in personal game. Uh, and they also both can definitely back up, split out of the game a bit with their great projectiles as well. See, these grenades can come out, the Beagle Blaster can come out, the Sword Bow has multiple uses. Wow. That's just able though. That's as a use for ending your life early. Yeah, we saw that in the set with Shu especially, but that side B was just used as a really great option to punish a uh, uh, whiffed option for Mr. Ping there. And it worked out tremendously in that situation. I really like I, that I've just noticed this, that Mr. Ping is using the uh, Dark Pit ult on Pit, not playing Dark Pit, and also uses the Dark Pit ult that looks just like that. So no matter if you're playing Pit or Dark Pit, Mr. Ping looks the exact same. See, that's called the mix-up, okay? Because then if you're prepared in the matchup for Dark Pit and then you get counterpicked by Light Pit, then it's just, it's over. Yeah, it tricked our stream runner too. Yeah. <laughs> Had to slot in a Pit instead of Dark Pit in the start GG. <laughs> Good up air there. Percents are relatively even pretty much at this point in the game. Yeah, right now they're trading back and forth. If Ringy got that pretty early kill right there, Mr. Ping gonna bring it to a pretty solid even. Uh, just getting actually this percent lead on the start, trying to get the back air though. Very great back air. I saw some people getting it, making it, making some comparisons of it having better frame data than cloud back air. Now, don't know about I'm, that. I'm a, listen, I'm a fan of Pit. I don't know if it's that good, but it's it's got it's 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 good. Speaking of good, that Wonder Wing gonna put Mr. Ping on the ledge pretty solidly right now. Fudinji tries to find a good punish, gets that drag down there, but not gonna get the F tilt out of it though. Good back air sends Mr. Ping to the other side of the stage. Yeah, Fudinji is really just looking to close the set out and will find the forward air, which will end Mr. Ping's second stock. Now Fudinji, he's in a really good spot to try and take this game one. Yeah, big hits coming out, and this big just bare fist to the face. But he's gonna try to grab the grenade to try to get the reset. Uh, and in fact, that's actually a stalling tactic you can use as Banjo if you want to go there. You can hold, you can just keep popping out grenades using a double jump and then your up B to stall out to get yourself hit by another grenade and infinitely go into the blast zone. So uh, if you really want to time someone out, that's the thing to do. But I mean, I don't think in a best of five set like this, uh, in losers round three of top 32, you exactly want to resort to that because it will damage you over time. There's also the fact that it would absolutely count as stalling. But other than that, we're getting well, it that hits the grenade. Hold on, because technically, I, eventually you'll die. Now, I, don't know the stall, I don't know the stalling rules, but... I'm pretty sure it would constitute it. But either way, gets the grab here. Oh yeah, Mr. Ooh. Ping got the side B. I might have been a misinput out of a mash, to be honest. And Finiji was able to punish it with the forward smash, but it didn't quite kill. So now Mr. Ping is off stage in a bad spot against Finiji at the moment. But still, side B's onto the ledge here. That side B has priority. All right, look, I, I know he, I know he wants a side B setup. I know he wants a side B setup. For real, he's trying to get in on Mr. Ping right now. But Mr. Ping doing a great job with those arrows, especially of keeping Fudinji out. Gets the down throw, no forward air out of it though. Fudinji, great DI out on that. Oh, okay. Well, Trading hits, down tilt. What's the move? Can he mash? There you go. Wow, that, I, <laughs> I heard snake. the craziest mash and it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it's snake. snake. Yeah, honestly, it's just... Banjo is just a lower tier snake. He's got For the real. grenades, he's got projectiles, he's got... Um, Down throw up tilt. <laughs> yeah. Up tilt in general, to be honest. Not as big as snake up tilt. But definitely, you know, it's used for the same purpose. Exactly, yeah. You doubt, yeah. Whatever, you just down throw, and then it's, you get the kill. It's the kill button. It's the kill button. It's the kill button. Right now on the mainstream, we have Shu versus Toffee going on right now. 
which is currently 1-1. Shu is up in that game too at the moment though. I just got a food delivery and a dill pickle. Wow. We love dill pickles. Launching into this game too here. Fidinji up 1-0. We're going to run it back to PS2. Appreciate it. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, anyways. Yeah. We're going to go into that game too. Uh, Fidinji. Yeah. Up one game. Uh, Mr. Ping though bringing it to a very even, uh, pretty even for that last game. Uh, in percents, in stocks, in everything. Uh, they were scrapping back and forth. So I'm excited to see how they kind of bring it uh, bring the heat in the second game. And very we're unorthodox here characters, but we're, it's okay. We're here to commentate it. Pickles in hand. Yes, Launching sir. into this PS2. Mr. Ping trying to find an air combo, but it's Fredinji who finds the egg ladder first. Mr. Ping capitalizing, though, on that grenade whiff with a little up air. Finds a little bit of hit of the nair, but Fredinji able to disrupt Mr. Ping's attempted combo. Just tries to find some more moves. Good nair there. Okay. Tries to dance around with the grenade, catches with the up air. Not a good move on its own, but in Banjo's kit, it has its purposes. Mr. Ping, I saw, is like kind of trying to keep a more high position. He's trying to keep in the air, and obviously with the multiple jumps, the fact that both these characters have, um, it's very, it works very well in terms of trying to get around Fudinji and his setups, uh, and trying to get you to the kill with things like Beagle Blaster and that side B, because aerial side B leaves you in a lot more vulnerable to stay. So. I really liked the drag down fair down smash that we just saw from Mr. Ping. Fudinji has been off stage in disadvantage for a solid minute now, but uh, gets hit by another back air. It's not going to kill quite yet. Good Wonder Wing back onto the stage. A great capitalization. Threw the egg out to cover the landing, but Mr. Ping's going to find another down smash, which will take Fudinji's first stock, but the up tilt in response, evening the game up right away. Yes, sir. Zero to zero, except for that grenade, ruining it. But yeah, the egg's coming out. Beagle Blaster in hand. Enter the up air, up air, up air. Okay, back airs. We see the grenade coming out here a little bit. Some arrows in response to try and blow it up. Good Nair gets oh. hit. Nice arrow to stall that recovery, actually. Uh, kind of messing him up and getting a little bit of attack damage uh, on Fringy. Just go over time. Uh, it's going to hurt him. But right now, getting the ledge trap. What's the option? Holding out grenade. Great catch. Actually not going to use it in his favor to make Fudinji back up off of him. Bit of that rapid jab there. Not quite landing in the way that Mr. Ping wanted it to. So now we're looking at an even game, but the reflected grenade going to put Fudinji in a little bit of a disadvantage state here. Okay, here we go. Forward air coming out. Great up tilt going underneath the Orbitars. Oh, oh the setup. No, the up tilt's not going to get in. in wow. I like I like the fact that Fudinji didn't overcommit into trying to get a... Uh, Regal egg ladder combo though. Knew when to fade back, knew when to use Wonder Wing in order to just let it rip, and is able to get a Regal ladder oh. combo on the, nether, the next day. Yeah, it's. <laughs> seeing these combos, it's gotta be so weird playing against it, because you've probably never played a banjo in your life, and you just have to now get comboed by a gun by a bird. Yes. We love Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, he's very goofy. Oh, yeah. Some banjo fans said they were robbed, but I mean, he is a funny character, regardless. That's true. Has the grenade out, gets the back air. A lot of Briegel Blasts coming out. The eggs peppering the ledge there oh. like it's a Sunday brunch. Good forward air, 141. Ooh, 150 on Fidinji. Makes it back onto the stage. Still in a percent stock lead, though. Good egg. The dash attack will take it. But now on the last stocks for both players, Mr. Ping is at 100% and Fidinji on a fresh stock. It's not looking good for Mr. Ping, but this is not insurmountable. Yeah, uh, wacky <laughs> spot dodges, both of them knowing exactly when the opponents want to hit. He wanted to steal that stock and the entire game from Fudinji. Uh, he's at 43%, but that fair off the side of the stage with the rage tacked on him too would have surely killed. Missing Honestly, the if there was one move in the game that could protect you from getting edge guarded and robbed like that, it would be Wonder Wing, the invincible, invincibility of it. But the up tilt there is going to put Fudinji up 2-0 in the set against Mr. Ping right now. Yeah, it's... Okay, yeah, 2-0. A uh, possible upset factor of 1. Uh, once again, we got a couple upsets coming out. Whether they're major or minor, it does not matter. It's still upsets regardless, and that's what makes a lot of these streams fun, a lot I of agree. these sets fun, and I think... Uh, Booker is gonna have, I believe Booker's doing the, like, the, the upset thread on Twitter. He's yes. gonna have a fun time looking through all these. It's yeah. gonna be, I think, a little bit longer than usual. Over on Mainstream right now, we just saw Shu defeat Toffee. 
3-1, I believe, and now we're seeing Justin23 get set up versus their next opponent. But over here on the side stream, we are seeing Fudinji and Mr. Ping go to Game 3 on Final Destination. What do you think of this stage counter pick? This uh, odd stage counter pick, I mean, obviously, Fudinji was getting a lot of those uh, Beagle Blaster combos onto the platforms to help it extend into those maybe up airs after as well. Uh, so this might help a bit with uh, Mr. Ping just trying to get more solid neutral without the platforms interfering in any way or getting him extra damage on top of it. Uh, but he fast fell off stage by accident, I believe. And side B's into the egg to reflect it. Okay, here we go. Ladder oh, combo mind. coming out here. 94 on Fidinji, but we've seen percent deficits like this be come back from in previous games. Mr. Ping, though, looking to not have this game go similarly, looking to close out this stock and fast before Fidinji can mount a comeback. Yeah, all right, Big Nair coming out there, just beating him up onto that ledge. Fidinji, I know, wants this. All right, back here. That shield's going to put in work. Stalling that up B just a little bit. Great tag. Now we Great get tag. the neutral B. I mean, now he gets the neutral positioning again. Has the grenade off stage. A lot of the arrows are really helping out Mr. Ping here in this off stage advantage state. Yeah, the uh, thing is, though, is that in the off stage advantage state uh, for Mr. Ping, it's kind of hard whenever he has Wonder Wing that he can just use at any moment to just run into the middle uh, and almost dodge disadvantage in a way. Absolutely. Here we see the F tilt coming out from Fridinji here. Sends Mr. Ping. There you go. That forward throw from Mr. Ping, able to take Fidinji's first stock. Not even using all five Wonder Rings, I'm pretty sure. But Mr. Ping looking to extend this lead even further in the second stock. Fidinji with a little bit of an inadvisable Wonder Wing there. Going to get punished by a grab. Fidinji in the corner right now against Mr. Ping. It's not looking the best right now. Okay, there you go. Good Nair. Down tilt into another Nair. The Mr. Ping combos are coming off strong. Now right now. Uh, Mr. Ping is actually getting pushed a little bit into this corner by Fudinji. I know Fudinji wants to kind of bring it back, but this, I mean, this down bees have actually really helped a lot with the projectiles being used by Fudinji. Uh, he kind of can't get in on Mr. Ping as easily as he could these last games. Maybe it's a stage thing, maybe it's just a adaptation thing, but Mr. Ping play a lot more solid this game now. Uh, it might have to go to game four unless Fudinji can somehow close this one out. Yeah, the percents are even right now, but the stocks are very much not. There's a big deficit being racked up in Mr. Ping's favor. And unless Fidinji can start to mount this comeback here, this game is very quickly going to snowball out of Fidinji's hands. And on cue, Mr. Ping takes Fidinji's second stock. Yup. And right now it's looking... Uh oh, oh, the stock is too greedy off stage. Great spike there from Freninji, but it might be a little bit too little too late as Mr. Ping is now an entire stock up in this game three right here. Mm, Freninji might be looking towards, uh, you know, that game four a little bit. You know, this FD pick, was it the main factor contributing towards this snowball deficit or was it just a few mistakes that allowed Mr. Ping to snowball this game? You know, Freninji might be looking ahead to the next game, but also will not go down without a fight here. Yeah, all right, big forward here right there, getting in. Fudinji wants to probably bring this one back, but right now it's Mr. Ping playing so solidly. These nares, these fares, just completely box him out. Oh, what, they're winging no. the wrong way? Oh, no. The grenade explosion is going to allow Fudinji to make it back, but on cue, that down tilt in the back air is going to allow Mr. Ping to take the first game of the set for them and moving us to a 2-1 game four situation. Oh, yup, you love to see it. Hey, game fours are where it's at, but wouldn't you better hope that he's Leo? Yeah, for real, right? <laughs> Guys, that it still exists, I swear. Please believe us. But anyways, we're going to be launching into this next game. I wonder, the stage choice is going to be a very interesting decision from both players here. What's banned, what's, you know, kept, and what is eventually going to be our battleground for our game four? Let's see. If I'm... Fudinji, I probably don't want to go back to FD. It didn't seem great for him. Uh, Mr. Ping can basically cover the majority of the places that Fudinji wanted to go, especially on recovery and getting back off of ledge trapping. Uh, it seems like it's better with platforms, at least for the banjo. I saw that, Nitro side. <laughs> Our stream producer typing in little messages. Love to see that. Here we go. We're taking it to Hollow Bastion. I'm, I actually really like this stage choice, but we're going to be seeing how much it really matters or if Mr. Ping is going to take the momentum from that game three and carry it into this game four here. All right. 
Forward air. Oh wow, forward air into the Wonder Ring. He's coming out this gate swinging. He wants to win. There you go, gets the grenade. Um, the grab whiffing twice, but finds the Nair afterward. Oh, I love the Z drop on the grenade there. Yeah, no, yeah, the Z drop into grenade. Uh, it kind of has to. It kind of makes you have to think like, okay, he's not gonna throw it now. Now it's dropping onto me. So it's either I can try to catch it and throw it back myself, or I can have to shield it, and then it gets you pressured into maybe possibly getting grabbed. Uh, and it's it's it, it's tough. It's tough. It's like playing against Snake a lot. You know, you need to once again, as I said earlier, it's kind of like the kind of like the Walmart the, the like the Walmart Snake. Uh, Absolutely. Down throw, no back air coming out of it though. Mr. Ping also staying with the normal pit instead of dark pit here. Uh, as not a pit main myself, I would really like to hear Mr. Ping's reasoning on what makes them go either pit or dark pit for a given matchup. I would imagine that these arrows have been really critical for Mr. Ping in neutral or uh, in advantage state. And especially with recovering there, you saw him come out. So I wonder if that's you know the main reason. But either way, the forward air from Freninji off stage is going to make first blood on behalf of him. So, heading up with a little bit of a lead that gets destroyed immediately by a well-placed spike from Mr. Ping. Yeah, that spike, very well-placed. Uh, he's been going for that almost all game now, and whenever it's on ledge, he's been using his down air a lot. Because uh, one, it could either probably try to combo into his other aerials, or it can get the spike, whichever one, if he's lucky. Okay, Mr. Ping starting off for Ninji Wonder Wings onto the ledge. Good Nair here setting up. Ah, the back air gets shielded by the Orbitars. Really good for it there. All right, be threatening a lot of these aerials right here. You see Mr. Pink taking his time to choose the correct aerial. Does not want to put into end lag for no reason here, especially since Fudinji has such hard hitting moves. Uh, and obviously he can get the setups right there. You can start out with the Beagle Blaster into just deleting you, the Wonder Wing, if you're not careful. But another wow. big spike coming in. Mr. Ping wants to make it a game five scenario. What a strong move. What a dominant stock there too. We went from being an even game to now Mr. Ping being up by nearly an entire stock. What a dominant showing. That's huge. Oh my goodness, here we go. Blaster. Another Nair coming out. Fidinji looking for this kill, but Mr. Ping looking to extend this lead even more. Here he is playing around here at the ledge. Fidinji is pinned against it. Shows right. the forward air. Yeah, Fudinji trying to keep this neutral, uh, just this, like, this middle ground, uh, trying not to get punished in disadvantage, but right now Mr. Ping reversing him very, very well. Uh, you hate to see it if you're a Fudinji fan, but right now this is looking like I might go into a Wow! Game the only thing in the game that'll beat out Wonder Wing is a grab, and Mr. Ping did the grab, down throw, back air, the classic pit combo, in order to bring us to a decisive game five on the precipice of a reverse 3-0. You gotta be a brave fella to grab Wonder Wing, and you could shield it, you can shield it, uh, and actually le uh, end, like, end up smash attacking it if you get the... Uh get the right part of shield but the issue is is that it's kind of a brave move uh, to do because it can break shield if your shields on the lower side and also grabbing if it, let's say you miss time that grab it you're dead so but I mean then again though mr. ping was up an entire extra stock so he can't play around with things like that here we go we're launching this game five is mr. ping going to reverse 3-0 Fidinji right here to go up into the loser side top eight qualifier against Shadzix or is Fidinji going to prevent the reverse 3-0 we'll need to see some major adaptations on his behalf in order to make that happen all right that's a little grab right there that's one got the grenades out in the eggs okay here we go gets the neutral bees coming out here a little bit good F tilt Oh wow, nice parry right there, okay. See, Fredinji was up 2-0 at the start, and it might have been a little bit of a matchup experience, inexperience thing, but Mr. Ping is a fast learner, as we're seeing right here. But, can't really learn much against that Beagle Blaster combo. It's deadly. Here we go. Throws out some more grenades. The percents are dead even at this point. They're playing a little bit of neutral, trying to find a combo starter here. It's gonna be Mr. Ping who finds that Nair, but yeah, hits another Fredinji off stage now. Great Wonder Wing to try to get back onto the center, but Mr. Ping's able to punish it with the dash attack. Oh, Good wow, grab. Uh, back throw. If he's not careful, this is like lost stock right here. Yeah, Wonder Wing at ledge would probably kill this percent. Yeah, oh, for sure. Especially on a stage like this, on the like the left or right half. That's probably why Fredinji picked it. You know, if probably. you're being reverse 3 0 there's a lot of adaptations that's been going on from your opponent, so you need those Hail Marys like a Wonder Wing at ledge in order to kind of have that little bit 
something special to take the game. But that great uh, down smash from Mr. Ping into the forward air is going to take Fidinji's first stock. Now down, 88% on Mr. Ping. Oh, Fidinji needs something. Something needs to cook extremely hard in order for him to not have this lead snowball into disaster. Yeah, I was going to say, that pit, that, that pit forward air is too strong. Like, how is that killing? But this is not... Oh no. You, f you feel like Pit Forward Air is just disjointed Falco Forward Air? Kind of. Well, then again, okay, hold on. Falco Forward Air will drag you down into the rest of his combo and be an. It, listen. We, we saw Drag Down Fair to Down Smash from Mr. Ping a few games ago. That is true, but it's not, it's not happening as common as Falco's. That, that, that's, that's what makes Falco's rent. True, true, true. Okay, tries to be back on the stage. 153. Good F smash call out from Freninji. A lot of stuff could have killed there, but you really just got to make sure that Mr. Ping is not living any longer. Oh, the down throw back there is going to kill criminally early. And uh, now Mr. Ping. That might have been sus DI. Yeah, I think it was. Freninji might have tried to DI out from the down throw a little bit too late and died for it. So now Mr. Ping up an entire stock in this game five. <laughs> not where you want to be if you're Freninji. I was going to say, I was like, it kills early, but I don't think it kills that early. And oh god, now he's getting footstooled. Oh no, the disrespect, oh no. 60% racking up. Freninji could start to mount a comeback here, but he's got to make some magic happen and even this game up right now. Kazooie, save him! Kazooie! Okay, the forwarder's out ledge. He's getting desperate for this kill. He, I know he wants it. Oh Don't my god. aerials. Oh, the egg ladder combo into no forward air though. But Fredinji has remained dominant in this advantage state this entire stock. We went from dead even to now Mr. Ping could lose this stock with just a well placed up smash from the drag down back air, which will bring us to a last stock game five scenario between Fredinji and Mr. Ping. Dude, that, that drag down is crazy. Here we go. Oh, has the grenade in hand, grenade tries to find hand. an opener. Oh wow. Okay, once that's damage, that's damage. Slowly but surely that's damage. Nair. Hit oh, grenade to look up at there. that. So these are some heavy hitters. Any one stock could fly at any moment. Okay, drag down fair. Not gonna lead into the grab though. The grenade is coming out. Neutral bees are getting shot around. The egg bouncing. Not gonna be reflected. Fidinji looking for that opening that he so desires. Mr. Ping hits that disjointed forward air. Looking for an edge guard, catches the grenade, has Fidinji off stage, 126. This could be the end of the oh, game. What's like, wait, 88%? Hey, a Wonder Wing kills here. That's all I'm saying. Hail Mary Wonder Wing might be what he needs. Guess the Nair. Come stay, listen, a forward air, uh, 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 maybe like a down throw something. Up air would kill here, and the forward throw, is that going to be it? It is! Mr. Ping defeats Fidinji in a game five set. Last stock scenario, and we'll move on. Reverse 3-0, by the way, on an incredibly solid banjo in NA. It's tough if you're a Fidinji fan, you want to see this banjo go further, but Mr. Ping right now going on a run. Yeah, what a phenomenal set. Mr. Ping now advancing into the loser's top eight qualifier to fight Shadzix. And uh, Freninji, unfortunately, being eliminated at 13th place. Hey, that's still a great placing, though. For what, C25? That is still a... That's double. That's double. Yeah. Uh, placing your seed is still good, but it must suck to just be so close to getting maybe even some Lumi rank points on the board or just some really solid placements at some of these higher tier events in the Midwest and just get so close but not truly not unfortunate for Fidinji there especially getting reverse 3 that can never feel good but it is what it is Hold looks on, like we're second. getting Shu and maybe Nico onto the set now oh that's not going to be a very good matchup for Shu really oh right yeah Shulk ZSS is not good for ZSS yeah especially Shulk like let's say right ZSS wants to flip kick. Shulk forward air covers all of that. Yeah. Like, if like the things that ZSS can do well, Shulk can kind of unravel and make really hard. One sec. All right. Speaking of unraveling, gamer moment chat, unraveling. Chat. What do we feel? Hold on one sec. His sandwich. What do we feel? Okay. One sec. Hold on. This is like it's like a it's like a spicy tuna melt. 